Listen, it's never been easier to make your home a smarter one. Joining us, a great to have tech expert Mark Saltzman back on the show. Making our homes smarter for me is can be a little bit scary because you don't <laughs> want like them taking over your home. But everything yeah. that you have on the table today is not that. It's scary. It's, it would, will really help you out. Yeah, it'll save you time and yeah. money and maybe frustration. I remember there was a Simpsons episode where the house came alive. It was one of those like Treehouse of Horror episodes, right? <laughs> anyway, Are we no, getting close yeah, to no, that, not, Mark? Not I don't know, you're tapped in with no, the tech stuff. I, not at all, not at all. Yeah, so as I mentioned, yeah, I mean, for example, we'll start off with water damage. That's a big uh, sure. issue mm -hmm. for Canadian homes, mm -hmm. uh, you know, especially this time of year and all the rain we've been having. Uh, so for as low as $70, you can um, pick up sensors that you place around your home to uh, protect your or uh, to protect your home, you put them in your basement. They notify you if there is a, a leak. This is the Moen Smart Water Network. In fact, this product is different. This connects to your water supply going into your home. And if it detects um, any uh, problem with a frozen pipe, a leaky pipe, someone left the faucet running, it'll turn off your water supply and push a notification so to you. So these are the sensors that are scattered around Th the That's house. right. And then this here, what I brought with me in person, is a bit different. This is what we're seeing here. Right. There's also, you know, touchless faucet it's for convenience there's smart showers that give you that perfect temperature there's uh, a smart sprinkler systems we saw there for maybe the spring and summer where it'll water your grass only where and when it needs it in by zones so it's great so that's all from Moen I just really like the convenience and and I, I open up my water bill and I Love swear that. a blue streak so yeah. this kind of helps me out um, smart locks are also popular as you know Tim so these are instead of needing a mechanical key which they also take um, you can get in with your phone your smartwatch a uh, keypad I brought with me the Schleg Encode Plus there we go, a little so, bright. Okay, so, okay, there you see yeah, the keypad. Yes, there you go. Can and you have your phone and put it over top of the lock? Does yeah, that yeah, work? You just, you just, does. Yeah, you just walk up to it and it's, it makes like a digital handshake, if you will. Uh, there's also the, the, so this is the Encode Plus. There's also a smart Wi-Fi lever that you can put elsewhere in your home, like a side door. But the idea is that it's easier to come and go. You've got the security that you want with a built-in alarm. And I love this feature, Tim. If someone wants to come to your home, like, like a contractor or a dog walker or a babysitter, you can email you them can. a temporary digital key right. to their phone that grants them access only when and where you want it and a lot safer than leaving a key under the mat let's face it so that's from Schlage starting at $300 uh, yeah. okay so let's let's stay kind of outside outside the house um, trying to get into the house doorbells mm -hmm. Yeah, doorbells. Uh, if you prefer a service, uh, including monitoring, where it folds in a lot of these technologies, uh, the Telesmart Home Security Solution is starting at only $15 a month, and you get a camera with it, but then you can add more and more. It supports uh, dozens of products, whether it is a smart thermostat, smart lights. What I brought here were, yeah, examples of some indoor and outdoor cameras, including a video doorbell, so you can see who's at your doorstep even when you're not there. And then it does push notifications to you. There's glass break sensors, there's smoke and carbon monoxide alarms. If you you are leaving on vacation and you forgot to shut the garage door you can do that remotely uh, or set your alarm if you forgot that's happened to me where I forgot to set my alarm and, and that you don't have to go back home to do it you do it all from the app so that's uh, again called tele smart home security I okay. love wireless TVs have okay. you seen these yeah I have yeah, not no, seen okay. Okay. I was well, going to say because we'll you pause. normally you normally bring a big TV we only got 90 <laughs> yeah. seconds you got three yeah. more things yeah you didn't bring a TV but what is this TV yeah this is the uh, LG M3 OLED series TV this is the the world's first a wireless OLED TV, which means you're not limited to where you watch TV in your home. You can place it anywhere because that box that looks like you can see it's like streaming content up to 10 meters away. You put that wherever you oh, want. Oh, this is the Connect future. This is the yeah. future because you're always right. trying to hide those cables. Yeah, it's ugly, wow. and you may be limited on where the cables coming into What's your the home. What's price on those right now? So that is 77 inches. Okay. So that's a, about seven grand, eight okay. grand to start. But that's OLED TV as well. Yeah, Absolutely right. stunning. Uh, let's uh, yeah, we got coffee. Talk coffee. coffee. Yeah, this is from Breville. It's the Barista Touch Impress. If you take your coffee seriously, as I do, I love the touch screen. Uh, it's got artificial intelligence to uh, to predict what you like based on your your prior ha previous habits. Like I like a double shot in my latte, so for example. Learn that. Yeah, my dad that. likes his Americano a certain way. So this is very smart from Breville. I'm a big fan of their countertop appliances and uh, a, a, a milk frother that doesn't just work with cow milk, but also oat and soy and almond because how you froth varies. It's the first machine to do that. Can you have it ready for you when you come down? Yeah, yeah, you, you can. can set that okay. absolutely with a smart plug. And then seconds. finally, yeah, look, October is Cybersecurity Awareness Month. We've been talking about protecting your home. I just want to spend a minute about protecting your data. RBC did a survey that uh, with about 1,500 Canadians that found that scam and fraud attempts are way up, 37% over last year. So if you find that you are, there was a data breach, uh, definitely change your passwords immediately. Notify your contacts that they 
they may get a fraudulent uh, message that looks like it's from you, but it's not. Notify your financial institution and contact the authorities. All these tips, by the way, are at rbc.com slash cybersecurity. And then try to organize all those passwords in your head. Or Don't use the same ones. Yeah, right. Use a password manager app. Don't password We're all one, two, three. <laughs> password. Or your dog's name, your pet's. Four or yeah. five. No. Uh, hey, we got to it all. Look yeah, at you. Thank yeah, you so much for having you, me. You've done this before, I think. Haven't I you? think so. Yeah, okay. We'll I see love you. rolling with bullets. Hell, I like that. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you in a couple minutes on your Thursday morning live.